Hello, uh, today is Monday. This is far and away the strangest thing I've ever done. I'm actually in my garage right now, uh, for several reasons, because this is the only place that I can get some privacy, and I've had a lot of things on my mind, and I haven't made a video in a while. I thought I'd just come out and say it. And if you follow me on Tumblr, you don't, unless you're Caitlin or Billy. Uh, so if you want to follow me on Tumblr, I'll leave the link in the description. I... I made a post called There's This Thing. I pretty much laid out how I've been feeling lately. I guess, to a lot of people, I... I come off as someone who's, uh, confident. And who knows what he wants. Someone who knows what their beliefs are. And... That's really not true. I'm just rather good at arguing, or debating, as it were. This is actually kind of really hard to say, but I'm actually... Darkness. This is actually really something that's kind of difficult for me to say, but I'm... I'm really scared of the future. And not... And not scared in such a way that someone is scared of a spider, like, I don't want to be anywhere near that, I just want to be where I am right now, but I'm scared in the sense where I want to be there, and I'm, I'm kind of scared that I'm going to screw it up. And I don't mean screw it up like I'm going to end up being some hobo or something, I mean screw it up like I'm going to make a wrong choice and be living with regret for the rest of my life. I'm, I'm really, really afraid of losing experiences. And especially lately with college and everything, I'm so scared that by choosing the things I choose, I'm taking it out. And that I'm always gonna go, man, what could have been? Because of all this, I have this big problem with choosing what my major is going to be in college. I don't know, people are suggesting to me all the time different majors I, cho I should choose, and every single time they just... They seem like a cool idea at first, but then they just kind of die off. And I hate that so much. I'm terrified that I'm going to choose something, and I'm going to waste a lot of money on going to college for it, and then I'm going to be absolutely miserable in it. I work at a grocery store, and I have realized through working at this grocery store that I cannot stand monotony. And I'm not... I'm not saying anything against people who have jobs like grocery store jobs. Like, some people can handle that, and they find such joy in dealing with people every single day, but I just can't stand being in this little two-by-two -two block, doing the same thing, making the same jokes every single day. And it, it bothers me to no end. And I think that that's what attracts me to YouTube. I'm not good at a lot of things. I mean, like, I can do a lot of things, and I can do a lot of things okay, and I'm passionate about a lot of things, but I'm not, like, the best at anything, I don't think. I think that's, that's why I really, really like YouTube, is that you don't have to be the best at something. There are so many people that are so popular on YouTube and the internet because they do average things. And I don't mean, like, I don't want to be good at anything. I mean that I want something where I can take all the things that I'm kind of good at, like music, or speaking, or writing, or whatever, and I can take them, and I can put them together, and I can find a place where everything is accepted. And that's what YouTube is to me. It's a place where there's no penalty for me putting myself out there. I mean, sure, I could be scolded on the internet, but the YouTube comment section can be the most hateful place in the world, and there's no getting around that. The other thing that attracts me to YouTube is that I see these people on YouTube who, a lot of them have other jobs, but they can come home and they can do this thing that they're passionate about. They don't have somebody telling them that they're doing something wrong, or that they need to be better at what they do because they're the ones that are doing it. Like, all the proof that they need is right there on YouTube. You know, if somebody else can do it better, then they can go ahead and do it better. It's right there. And it doesn't make anybody less of an artist. And it's not... 
it's not the kind of art that, like, people stand in a gallery and go, Mmm, yes, uh, quite, oh, well, the brush strokes here, you know, it's, it's not a snobby kind of art. It's this kind of art that is totally accessible. You know, and if you don't like one thing, you can find another thing. Like, if you don't like vlogs, you can go watch a gaming channel. If you don't like a gaming channel, you can go watch an art channel, you know? Something where somebody is making something of themselves, and it's totally free, it doesn't take supplies, and anybody can get into it. All you have to do is borrow a camera. And the fact that there are people that do this for a living, it, it astounds me. It, it amazes me. It draws me in so much that I kind of decided somewhere along the way that this is what I want to do, no matter what other jobs I have. And man, would I love to do YouTube full time. Charlie is so cool, like, did a video recently where he he talked about he wants to put himself out there. He doesn't want to pander to an audience. And that's what I love about YouTube, is that if you like something and you put it on YouTube, somebody will watch. Even if it's just one person, somebody will get something out of it. So I, I guess that's what it comes down to, is that no matter what I'm going to be doing, I can still make YouTube videos. Even if I'm working in some corporate office, I can still be, I can still come home and sit here, stand here in my garage and talk to a camera and know that it's something that I'm happy with.